Dallas police have arrested the driver. They say crashed into a couple and ran away from the scene. Good evening. I'm Blake Hansen. Two people were knocked unconscious and left with head injuries and broken bones after someone T-boned them at an intersection in South Dallas. Fox News Amelia Jones spoke with one of the victims in the crash. Amelia. Blake, Alan Tienda and his wife have a long road of recovery ahead of them, but now they have the answer of who crashed into them and ran off. We received the arrest affidavit that explained the clues that led police to the suspect, and one of those clues includes the suspect himself calling 911. What I remember... Um, me and my wife were supposed to go out to eat together. A date on the night of October 13th that didn't go as planned. When I turn screen for me, I look both ways before I go. That's the last thing Alan Tienda remembers before his car was T-boned at the intersection of East Keast Boulevard and South Marcellus Avenue. The driver of the gray Ford F-150 truck that caused the crash ran away. I don't remember how I came out. I got out of the car. I don't remember uh, who called the police. I don't know how I got to the hospital. I don't remember nothing. Seven days after the crash, Dallas police say they arrested the driver of the truck, 41-year-old Gilberto Salas Guerra. I'm glad that they did find where, who was behind this, behind all this. According to the arrest affidavit, when Guerra's car hit Tienda's car, that caused Tienda to crash into another car. Three people in that car were treated for injuries at the scene. Tienda and his wife, Sandra Sanchez, were taken to the hospital in critical condition. Tienda was able to come home Wednesday to their two sons, but Sanchez is still in the hospital. She's supposed she's going to be there for another two weeks, and she won't be able to walk for three months. So it's going to be hard on us. According to the affidavit, the day after the crash, Guerra called 911 about a stolen gray Ford F-150 truck. But when detectives got there, he didn't show up. The affidavit goes on to explain the paper plates on the truck were invalid, and police found Guerra's Mexican passport and other personal items inside. It says Guerra's ex-girlfriend told detectives he contacted her the night of the crash, saying that he was in an accident and wanted her to pick him up. I'm not that type of person that, that holds bad on anybody. I don't like that. But when you, had to, when you, do, you, when you do bad things, then you got to face your consequences. That's all. I do believe in that. And Tienda believes this is his second chance. I thank God a lot. He's giving us a second chance at life. And I'm very thankful. The arrest affidavit says that there is a previous report of Guerra running away from a different scene with the same gray Ford F-150 truck involved that he is the registered owner for. It doesn't say if he faced charges for that case. In this case, though, Guerra is charged with five counts related to the crash. He's currently being held here at the Dallas County Jail on a $50,000 bond. Blake, back to you. All right, Amelia, thanks.